We just hired someone. Yes, I love business growth. Yay, business growth. We just hired someone who is going to have permission to spend money in order to fulfill her role. And then she'll be reimbursed by my company. How should expense reports work? Oh, I love you. You asked me this before the money starts getting spent. That's the perfect time to ask me. Keep those questions flowing, my friends. Don't do, don't do what the auditors do. Back at Rutgers, my auditing professor always said, the only purpose of auditing, auditing is like going in to the field of battle after the battle is over and bang, bayoneting the wounded. Let's not do that. A great CFO can partner with you in real time and help you make decisions like this. We can recommend people, processes, technology um, to help make things go well. So, in answer to your question, how should expense reports work? You have a couple different things that you want to consider. First, you have to make sure that you authorize the reimbursement. So that step of authorization can be it should be documented in case you or the employee or anybody else, <coughs> IRS, has questions about it later. You can easily document your authorization without anybody sweating it. There's technology that you can do that for you, like, um, for example, Expensify um, is, a, is an example of an app that it's your proverbial, like take a picture of the receipt thing, send it in, you know, and then the, CE, the CEO looks at it and goes, yep, that's right to me, hit approve. There are a number of different apps with, with features like that. Um, and then there's a second part, which is how do you get it into the bookkeeping system and what information needs to be contained on it? Typically in the bookkeeping system, we need a date, a vendor, a dollar amount, and a purpose. And whatever form that comes in, so it's readable to the human eye, and ideally um, even readable to the machine's eye because there are some apps that actually use OCR or optical character recognition that you can take a picture of a receipt, it'll parse it into all those fields, and pretty much all you have to do is add the purpose. So the date, the vendor, and the dollar amount are all there. So add the purpose, um, and then send it in for approval, boop, and then it synchronizes with the accounting system. Expensify I mentioned because um, someone else was asking me about Expensify recently, it's on my mind. But it also synchronizes with QuickBooks and Desktop Edition very well, which you can't say about every app these days. Intuit is pushing so many people into the cloud um, that the developers are noticing that and what's on offer for QuickBooks Desktop is diminishing a bit. Um, but Expensify is something that does integrate with QuickBooks Desktop if that's what you're using. Um, so thank you so much for asking. So in summary, make sure that you have a way to get these authorized. Hopefully it's not by your handwritten signature. If your really, business is really taken off, you want to keep that documented, but make it as easy as possible. Repeat, as easy as possible, um, so you can scale.